this is how the audio would sound like before editing and this is how it would sound like after editing hello guys i'm shlok and you're watching tech burner in this video i'll show you how i edit the audio for my videos and i do it in premiere pro itself i don't use any other audio editing software and if you're wondering i use the zoom h1 that's why i have it in my hand while recording also i keep it at around this distance only the distance between me and the mic would be around the size of my hand this is how much it is you can also use your mobile as a microphone if you don't have a mic yet so why would you want to edit in premiere pro when you have other editing softwares so if you use any other editing software it's kind of cumbersome to like first edit audio in audacity then go to premiere pro and if you want to change something afterwards it becomes kind of a problem if you guys want a video specially on how to capture crisp audio you can let me know in the comment section below i will mix that up with the mobile one and make it so first thing is you want to capture like good enough audio and you want to make the audio better while editing it and not try to fix it while editing so if you guys have a lot of noise in the audio before you are editing it it's kind of like a problem and you want to keep the mic close to you so that you can capture great audio so we'll jump straight into the editing on the computer and let's get started so this is how the timeline looks like for me when i've like edited the video and i've cut all the parts that i wanted so this is a video that i've already edited but i've not added the sound effects yet i've removed all the sound effects and all the audio editing that i did so right now what we have is the music layer the audio layer and the two video layers i've removed all the parts where i don't speak and that's why you see so many cuts so i will remove the music also so that you guys can easily hear what we are speaking what i am speaking So now we have the basic audio ready. I will show you how it sounds like. It, this is the raw audio which came from the mic. Back, back and it let users compare different Android phones and it would ask various questions to the users that will So you can hear what the audio sounds like and you can also make out that it's a bit low in volume. So uh we'll have to check how much volume the vo audio has. So in the right corner you'll have this volume bar and you can make out the average volume from here and select the phone so you can see that it is around minus 15 to minus 12 so that is the amount of gain that we'll have to add to this one to make it loud enough so you can right click on the audio and add gain from here itself how i do it is a bit different so i go into the decompressor or the dynamics in premiere pro and you'll have to open the effects tab in your premiere pro then select dynamics so as you can see i've made so many audio cuts it would be difficult to add the dynamics effect to each one separately so i'll select all of these and if your video and audio is attached you can select the video and audio at the same time and then right click and select unlink this option so it would unlink the audio and video so i'll select only the audio and then i will select next this will convert all the audio into one layer i do this after i've edited and made all the cuts to the audio So you'll have to select the dynamics preset uh actually the dynamics effect and add it to your audio. Make sure you don't add any of these effects to the music that you add the background music. So after you have added the dynamics effect or uh, when you select the audio and you have the effects panel on the top you can click on the edit button and if the dynamics is not open you can tap on this arrow and open up the dynamics and click on edit. and here you will only use the compressor we will won't use the expander or the audio gate or the auto gate i mean so these are the settings that i use you can use them and tinker around according to what audio levels you have so for minus 15 to minus 12 i keep the threshold at around 24 db minus 24 db and i change the ratio to 3.5 so what it actually does is it will make the whole audio a bit quieter but it will tune the audio so that all the parts are equally louder so anything that's above minus 24 it will reduce it down to the ratio of 3.5 because it reduces the volume and we have to add some extra gain as well i'll add 12 db as the gain because i showed you guys the audio gain that we required was around 15 to 12 decibels so i'll try to show you like make you hear how the audio sounds like android phones and it would ask various questions to the users that and this is how it would sound like if i disable the effect that will help them select the phones So you can see that it makes the voice a little more fuller and it increases the gain also. So before moving on, if you're liking the video, click on the subscribe button and also tap on the notifications because I keep making videos like this. 
so the next thing i do is add the equalizer or the eq so you'll have to so you'll have to search in the effects panel for equalizer or just search for eq you can use the parametric equalizer also but i prefer this one and add it to your audio so when you have added it you'll have this option and tap on the edit button so these are the frequency of sounds that you have to edit tap on all of them you can use any preset that you want but this is how i do it so i take the high to the very end and make it go down really low so this removes all the very high pitch sounds that are irritating to the ears so this removes all the humming noises that are there in the background and it will also uh, like reduce the bass in your sound so if you have like a background music playing it would pop your voice more and i would also make the mid tones go a little bit bit lesser than 0 decibels so now i increase the highs a bit so when you increase the highs on your audio it would make your audio sound a bit different it would increase the highs on your audio and your voice would be a bit more crisper and you would be able to differentiate more between the background sounds and the audio i'll make you hear and you will be able to make out what happens so that's how the graph looks like so you can use the exact same one as well i'll leave a screenshot in the description box below so it's easy for you guys so now i'll uh, make you hear how the eq sounds like it would ask various questions to the users that will, and this is how it sounds like with the eq off it will help them select the phones so this initiative by google so you can see that uh, it gives the voice a little bit of presence and it has a bit more increased highs so it makes the audio sound a bit better so i generally add the eq when i'm using background music because then the audio goes well with it suppose if you have a lot of noise or if you want to remove some static noise from your audio you can use this tool you'll have to search for denoiser in the effects tab and then add it so the denoiser will remove all the static noises and some of the background noises that there are but i don't like to use it because it also removes some part from your audio as well it would make your voice sound a bit more robotic if you have a lot of background noise that's what i said in the first part of the video you have to record audio so that you don't have to like fix it in post you actually have to enhance it in post so if you have to do a uh, lot of noise removal afterwards you're not recording the audio right and you can get great audio with your mobile phone also and this is how the final audio sounds like you can hear it once again if you want similar and instead of the phones now we have a home screen setup so google will tell you about the launcher the icons so that was it for the video guys let me know if you liked it or not by clicking on the like button and also let me know in the comment section below if you like videos like this and if you did make sure to subscribe to this channel